Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Past Caesar Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us today. It's a cold open for Devious Dungeon 2. Um, didn't I play Devious Dungeon 1? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I don't? I don't think I did. Uh, Devious Dungeon from Metallica Games. They have provided us with a free copy of the game. Check it out. Um, I like dungeon crawlers. I like traditional dun uh, like Dungeons and Dragons and fantasy games for that kind of scrolly beating me up a business. So I'm wondering what we've got here to play. Um, Retallica do have a very widespreading spectrum of game releases. Some of them are a little bit more puzzly, some of them are a little bit more platformy, some of them are just interesting. So not having any knowledge about this game before starting, I'm looking forward to just jumping in. A barbarian, mage, rogue. Fucking, of course we're taking the rogue. Um, double jump. Some melee, some ranged. Perfect. And, oh yeah, some, you can actually go through each one of the classes. Okay, so they've got an individual save game. It is said that great adventurers that wait behind, adventurers that wait behind the walls of this dark castle. The castle's ever-shifting halls are filled with deadly monsters. Treacherous traps have claimed the lives of many adventurers. It is rumored the castle contains treasures beyond imagination. However, it is also the domain of the summoner. And he does not look kindly upon uninvited guests. Can you defeat the summoner and claim the lost treasures of the castle? Well, somebody's got to, and there's only three of you willing to do it. My god, this looks way too much like Rogue Legacy. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just going to start the game. This is it's a, a, like a low-res version of Rogue Legacy. Uh, sure, we'll start in the mines. <laughs> we have to start in mines number one. Tutorial. Take all the things, take all the money. This is how we survive. Uh, uh, uh. Warthog. Oh shit. Well that hurt quite badly. Ah, there's a roguey double jump. There we go. You can get up to places that you wouldn't get normally. Ah, I was probably got meant to get in that. There's a key hidden in every single room. Ah, and that allows you to get into the next portal. Okay. I get ya! Oh, that took a lot of hits. Ow. I thought I could get inside those. Oh, that's too easy enough. Killed a couple of those guys. Get all the monies. Potions! Good. Helpful. Uh. Aha! Got you beat, boy. Ribbits. Yeah! Alright, so it's in here somewhere. Couldn't come at me, Ribbit. Ocean health, baby. Level up. Um, damage. Get a little bit more damage. I forget that the rogue actually has double jump as well. Oh. Huh. Oh, I kind of want his gun. Give me all that money. Money, money, money. Money. Well, 
this is going to go well. Thud. Rug. that long to reload, fucker. Yeah, so I'm actually getting on board with it. So literally, it's a very simplified down rogue legacy. That's what it feels like. Um, I'm not offended by this in any way, shape, or form. Quest complete. Level up. a reward for actually killing so many of any object. I'm actually getting like extra points for just breaking down a couple of uh, boxes and stuff. Now the only thing is I imagine that's to give you a boost at this early stage of the game. Meanwhile if you're actually midway through the game that would be absolutely no help whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know why the um, snakes sound like laser blasters though. I am so near dead. Oh, that didn't go well. I <laughs> dropped right on top of him. <laughs> Alright, so and now you resurrect. And then you resurrect back into town, obviously. And then you spend your stuff in the shops. How much money I have? 434, 34, 34, 30. And I can take. Well, 30. Oh, jeez, that's going to take a while. Um. Hmm. Flat. That's just a elixir of power. Okay. Well, I'd buy that. I buy that for a dollar. Then you get your next level up for the next five hundred. Spend that for another. That you kind of hyped up to start with. And oh, it actually works. Ah, this guy was like hoping there was going to be actual armor and gear for it. So yeah, um, this is actually kind of fun. Uh, I'm going to, I'll jump into this and maybe a little bit later with a bit more gameplay, but it really, really obviously plays like a miniaturized or simplified down version of Rogue Legacy, which I, I enjoyed Rogue Legacy. I played it until I kind of hit a wall because I made some poor choices in my uh, construction of the town that was actually the backdrop of the story and essentially felt like I was making no progress so I just was banging my head against the wall so I stopped for a while and then never went back to it. But um, this could actually encourage me back to playing Rogue Legacy just from the fact that it's own existence. Retail games have really just produced some really fun simple action games that give me a massive nostalgic throwback to um, 8, -bit and, or 8 bit and early 16 bit era action adventure games. A lot of platforming, a lot of very precise jumping. Um, this is a little bit outside of that wheelhouse, but not in any way so offensive. My procedurally generated games, um, levels that are actually laid out differently every single time you go into them. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's something that I actually I never got into. But um, I do love, I like games that actually will always give me infinite replayability because every single level will be different. But I also don't like not knowing if I can memorize a level layout. But part of this will obviously be the same. You'll always be fighting the same bosses at the end of every world. It's just the progress of getting there could actually be good or bad, mattering on what particular day, alignment of the numbers and the random algorithm of seeding has decided for you. But um, yeah, I think the Devious Dungeons 2. I'd give that a thumbs up again another indie title that is actually um, a couple of quid that will actually keep you entertained for a fair amount of time again this is also available on the switch so 
And you could check it out in the Switch as well. Like, these are games that, I don't know what it is, but essentially I think Switch is going to kill it with these indie developers because they're great small experiences that you just do a bit of and you come back to, do a bit of, come back to, do a bit of, come back to, and having the portability is exactly where you want to be playing it. I'm playing it on the PS4, but I'd want this to have, I would, I'd personally want to have this on the Switch to play just because it's the kind of thing that I, if I'm sitting on a bus for half an hour or whatever, I'm, I'm waiting to travel, I'm waiting for a flight or um, just hanging out waiting for a friend to show up. Uh, literally, it's it's one thing you can bang out, do a wee bit of a gameplay of and drop out of it with just the progress saved along the way. Th this does not require a couch experience. This is actually a, and yeah, visually, this will still look stunning on the Switch because it's quite pixely here. <laughs> it'll actually make it, it'll, it'll condense those pixels down for you a little bit. So uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've actually enjoyed watching me play a little bit of DBS Dungeons. And I hope you actually check out some of the games from Vitalica. And uh, make sure to go and check out their store listings in both PSN, on Switch, and on any other devices. They, they, uh, they haven't steered me wrong so far. They've always had a fun game, even though it's like one really simple concept just played to its nail end. Um, we'll, be, we'll be presenting a few more games of theirs very, very soon again because there's a bit of a backlog. Plenty of games that I played of theirs, but uh, I haven't actually covered them here on Cold Open, so I might just do like a, a, a Retire Like a Games bunch at some point, almost like a recommendation, like this, 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 and this. Grab these as a batch of four because they're all doing something a little bit different for each one. So yeah, uh, for their roguelike, uh, the Rogue Light, uh, Rogue Legacy, <laughs> essentially Devious Dungeons is not too far of an experience, and I'd highly recommend. It. Again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure to do the like, comment, subscribe, and all the other things that you could possibly do by chasing down past these or skimming anywhere on the internet. I'm not trying to hide in any way, shape, or form. It's easy enough to find me. So uh, yeah, go check that out, and I will actually be with you guys again very soon for another video. So thank you very much for watching. Bye. Thank you.